The Florida governor, please, Mr. President, don't run again. There had been other reports that Trump was fuming and absolutely livid at the coverage of the midterm results. Now, this statement tonight would certainly appear to back that up. So, is this an effort by Trump to scare DeSantis? Is he just lashing out? And how will Republicans take this biting attack on a party favorite like DeSantis? Joining me now is longtime conservative and podcaster John Ziegler and former Republican congressman turned radio host and Trump critic Joe Walsh. Gentlemen, thanks very much for coming on the show. John Ziegler, this seems like a really big deal to me. It is. Uh, for one thing, Dan, um, I suspected we were living in a simulation for the last six or seven years. I think the Trump statement pretty much clinches that. Yes, this is all a simulation. This is not real life. Um, but from a political standpoint, yes, this is a huge story because this is going to be the biggest fight in the history of the Republican Party. And as a longtime anti-Trump, never Trump conservative to the very end for the last seven years, I am very much looking forward to this fight because this is a monster that needed to be killed a long time ago. And I know there are some people that are going to say, well, wait a minute, Trump still controls the Republican Party. He still has the cult. Yes, but Dan, that cult is shrinking. Let me give you an example. I just got a text from a well-known political consultant who speaks to Trump regularly, a huge Trump fan, who texted me in reaction to the Trump statement about the Santos Trump. What the hell? Ugh. and then gave me permission to talk about it on your show. I'm telling you, if this, if this cult is falling apart as we speak because he picked the wrong fight with the wrong guy at the wrong time. And Joe Walsh, the other side of this, which I think you take, is that in the end, that what, DeSantis is going to end up campaigning for Trump? I, and, I, and I respect my friend John Ziegler, and he's been incredibly consistent over these last seven years but come on there's no fight right now this is trump i don't think ron DeSantis will even challenge donald trump in the primary if donald trump decides to run which i think he's going to do and announce next week there's nothing on this isn't a what? fight this is trump being trump but, but again but that seems to me to sort of normalize it all right it's like oh it's just you know trump just says these kinds of things he's saying it about someone who is a darling of the Republican Party. I mean, let me read you another piece of this, this official statement that says, the fake news asks him if he's going to run if President Trump runs. And he says, I'm only focused on the governor's race. I'm not looking into the future. And then Trump says, well, in terms of loyalty and class, that's really not the right answer. I mean, you know, this is, he's, ta he's talking about someone Republicans in this country care about. This is what Donald Trump has done for seven years. And he calls out individual Republicans by name and he gets dirty and he gets in the ring and he punches and he kicks and he scratches. And no one has been able to get in a ring with him, period. And I'll tell you, Dan, it dirties people up. And I'm not convinced that Ron DeSantis wants to do that or is capable of doing that. Go ahead. Um, go ahead, John. Dan, here's what's really going on from both a psychological and a political perspective. Donald Trump has great pride in his supposed manhood. However, he also has great insecurity about it because I and Joe both suspect that his manhood really isn't what it's cracked up to be. Conservatives looked at what Trump did during COVID and we saw a guy who came up really tiny. The Ron DeSantis came up big and it drives Donald Trump nuts and that's why he mentions covid specifically in the statement trying to create this myth that ron DeSantis really didn't do a great job during covid ron DeSantis proved that trump didn't do what conservatives should have done especially at the beginning of covid and this is what's driving him nuts psychologically politically here's what's happening i believe that trump is trying to do with the DeSantis. What no one did to him in 2015, 2016. In 2015, 2016, the Republican Party stood, in, stood aside and said, well, we don't want to destroy this monster because this guy's going to destroy himself. He's going to lose. We don't need to worry about it. We need his voters. Well, that was a mistake. And Trump is deciding, maybe smartly from a political standpoint, he can't make the same mistake against DeSantis. I just believe that it's too late because Trump is fading. DeSantis is growing. 
And DeSantis yeah. bought so much loyalty but, with the Republican Party because of his response. Joe, I want to come, Joe, I want to come back to this specific statement, though, because I, I understand sort of big picture, right? We don't know exactly what's going to happen. Trump seems to be able to survive so much. This statement, to me, feels like a different level of attack. I mean, this is not just another Trump statement. He is basically saying Ron DeSantis is a mediocre governor. He's a mediocre guy. He's not someone. I mean, and 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 this is someone who is supposed to be very, very popular in your former party. Dan, who hasn't Donald Trump said crap like that about a lot? I would just, I, I would just remind all of us to stop and take a breath because we've seen this movie before. Look, John knows and I know and Dan, you know, every Republican power broker and donor and consultant and elected official would love Trump to be gone, but they won't determine the nominee. Rupert Murdoch won't determine the nominee. The damn Wall Street Journal isn't going to determine the nominee. Republican base voters are, and they are still tied to Trump more than anybody else. And John, I, I kind of side on that one with Joe. I think that in the end, I don't think DeSantis is going to even end up running. That's quite possible and would be a politically probably prudent maneuver because it's very risky going against Trump because if you lose, you're dead. I fully understand that. But I want to take one crack at this media element. Okay, let's look at what Trump's platforms are going forward. This was a statement he put out on an email to his cult followers. He, he's bashing News Corp. They've turned on him. He can't post on Twitter. He can't post on Facebook. The other networks aren't going to give him the time of day. I'm sorry. This had a feeling of Hitler in the bunker to me. And if the Sanders goes after him and does it right, he can slay this monster. I'm telling and, you, and, and, the and cult respect. is already fading away from Trump as we speak. Oh, John Ziegler, I love you, man. But you don't know that yet. None of us. Are. You know what? Everybody thought that after January. Six. Yeah. The guy led an effort to violently overthrow our election, and everybody yeah. stayed with but him. The, the, the difference is there is something about DeSantis and what he means to the GOP that I think changes the game here. This isn't just an attack on Ted Cruz, right, who, yes, yes, people like, but a lot of Republicans really don't like him. DeSantis is now beloved in the Republican Party, Joe. And that's Dan, to me Dan, what makes this difference. You get the final word, Joe. No, no, Dan, I would just say respectfully, most Republicans around the country don't know who Ron DeSantis is. He's really generally unknown and untested. Trump's trying to paint him right now as something, but he's generally pretty unknown. We shall see. I gotta say, you know, when I saw this statement come out, I thought it was apparently a bigger deal than a lot of other people did. I think this is a big statement by Donald Trump throwing down the gauntlet like this against a, an incredibly popular Republican like Ron DeSantis. I think it's dangerous stuff for Trump to do, and we shall see what happens. John Ziegler and Joe Walsh, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Coming up.